Let's do my evening skincare routine while I talk about my hair loss, what's been going on, what happened when I stopped using the eye restore helmet and caring for myself, dealing with life as a whole because if I'm gonna be fully honest and transparent with you, which I will as always, I have been through one of the hardest periods of my life recently. And for a, a time, my skincare routine literally consisted of makeup wipes and like rolling around in bed or like mm, my cellar water and like a smear of sunscreen, just like, oh, I, I put on sunscreen and then falling back asleep under the covers. And when I am not taking very good care of myself, it shows up as blemishes. You should see my back. It shows up in um, my physical appearance as well. And as you probably know, I have had a hair loss journey for about two years now since I really started noticing it. And there are things that have greatly improved it. But I have a confession because when I don't take care of myself, I wasn't taking care of my hair loss either. I want to talk about what happened when I stopped using this helmet, when I stopped taking care of myself. And this is I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's the truth. And it's just embarrassing for me to say, this is going to be my first time doing like a full skincare routine on myself in quite a while. Skincare makes me so happy and it helps me feel better about all the things and distracts me, right? However, I haven't done a full routine that includes things like a spot treatment or my favorite little devices in quite some time. Speaking of devices, I actually don't think I even have this charged. I like to wear this around the house. You can literally use this on your head and take it with a little remote, but I don't think I remembered to charge the battery pack since I last used it. Cause at least I've been using it, okay? Hello, we interrupt this regularly scheduled programming with a very important message that I finally found the micellar water that was sold out that I was looking for, the mattifying one. I'm also using this in public and this video comes with a trigger warning for those who are sensitive. Um, Target's having their holiday things and they're closing, so I should get out of here. But let's let's go check out. If it's not a late night Target run, is it even skincare? I got what I wanted, which is unheard of because this has been sold out everywhere. Seat belts. And as noted, this video does come with a trigger warning specifically because I will be sharing a few things that are very personal to me. And this is Cass from the future, driving very safely, and I'm actually staying consistent with my hair care and my skincare routine, but I do think it's important to talk about the times that things aren't as good or that we kind of lose track of it, because it can be extraordinarily, extraordinarily rough. And you may also notice this is a different color than the white one that I normally wear. This is their newer one, and it works in 12 minutes a day instead of like 25 minutes every couple of days. This has been phenomenal. And I find that if I'm trying to build a new routine or a new habit, doing it daily and consistently is so much easier than doing it sporadically, right? Yeah, the driver next to me is like looking at me, they're like, what the f is this lady doing? Look at me, both hands on the wheel. I'm so such a safe driver. But that consistency for me is really important. And I found that with my skincare routine or with anything else, doing it daily and doing it regularly is so important. So 12 minutes a day with this one, whereas the professional one, the white one that I've been using for over, oh my gosh, almost two years now, um, that one takes 25 minutes every couple of days. And between the time I filmed this skincare routine video and have opened up about some of the things that are happening, they launched this Elite device and I just made it back. Um, the lady at Target was so sweet. She was, cause I wore this through the checkout line and she was like, what is that? Is it for a scooter? I was like, no, it's regrowing my hair. And she was so sweet. She was like, does it work for eyebrows? And I was like, I actually don't know. Um, but by theory it would, it just doesn't cover the eyebrows. I absolutely freaking love this. And I do want to let you know that I've switched from using the white professional one to the black elite one, because this is the most powerful one that you can get on the market for at home use. Now both are still really good. Like I still have and love the white pro one. But for me, it's a difference of using this for 12 minutes a day, whereas the white professional one was like 25 minutes every couple of days. Do you wish that I had better answers for the lady at Target about her eyebrows? I just honestly don't know. But when it comes to actual hair loss, I know that Eye Restore is clinically proven and doctors and derms and trichologists recommend it for hair loss and hair thinning, which I absolutely need because I mean, yeah, don't drop it, Cassandra, don't drop it. But you know the status of my scalp and I do feel like it's gotten so much better. But again, I need to to stay consistent and again like when you're you know stressed and depressed and your head is a mess it can be really hard to do i have a little battery pack so i can take it around with me and i can do my skincare routine i can do other stuff while it's working and if you want we can actually make some tea this evening love tea wait i love this mug this was my grandfather's favorite mug it says good morning in like a bunch of different languages he spoke a bunch of different languages and um 
um, now that my grandma's also gone, um, she doesn't use it either. So now I do, let's go make some tea. This Elite device specifically has the Lumitech laser technology and if I take it off, it'll stop lighting up, but I can still show you. Um, it has over 500 medical grade lasers and LEDs that are FDA cleared. This is basically the best light density, the best coverage you can get. And when I compare this to my white professional one, again, the white professional one is still good. I still love it, but this one really, um, you can even see on the inside, like it just makes such a difference. And I do feel like this one's a little bit warmer as well. And again, it just goes faster. And then, you know, I have this, I can literally strap it to myself so that I'm hands-free and I can make some tea. How about it? Now that I've got both my tea, I've got my skincare while I'm doing some deep follicle stimulation, I will explain to you um, what I've been putting on my face, kind of some of the things that I've been going through and um, let's just talk about it while I do my skincare routine. So again, Trigger warning, <laughs> big trigger warning. Thanks to iRestore again for working with us on a portion of this video. And um, remember that like we all go through tough times and even if it doesn't feel like it gets better, there are people out there that care about you and that support you. And I don't know who needs to hear that today, but I sure do. So I'm so happy I have this. I'm so happy I have this. Let's do some skincare. <laughs> oh, I dropped everything in my sink. Ah! We're gonna talk about all of this while I do my routine. I'm starting with washing my face. I just cleansed my face with the Dermalogica's oil to foam cleanser and can I just say, it feels so good to cleanse my face with a cleanser instead of, you know, the makeup wipes. And oh, the makeup wipes, like, I know that it's bad for me. I, I just can't bring myself to do certain things. And that's so difficult because then I guilt myself and shame myself because I know I should be doing better. But that doesn't help us. And that could be things that happened to us when we were younger, specifically if you grew up in a family where you had to take care of others around you, or you were always the person who tried to create calm and peace, or even if you were bullied, you would try to appease the people who were hurting you, whether they were caretakers or bullies on the playground. And that can turn into a lot of behaviors as an adult. So that's, <laughs> that's fun. This is a Skin1004 Centella Hyalucica Body Mist. I love this. I've gone through two of them now. Um, I think I might switch it up, but as we were saying, my hair loss journey kind of started um, about two, I would say two years ago. And I was basically trying to isolate my variables, do things one at a time. And that is a great idea because in science, we want to test something and have it be repeatable. If somebody else can't repeat it, then it doesn't count, right? It's not a reliable result. But if somebody can't test it, then they can't repeat it. So making sure that we're isolating every variable is how we tell which thing that we did actually caused the result that we got. So if I'm trying to treat my hair loss, if I use the helmet versus, you know, um, this, you know, hair loss serum that was handed to me versus this, you know, scalp massager, how do I know which thing was actually helpful? And that is fantastic for science, but it wasn't until recently I saw a video from Dr. Shreen Idris and she was talking about basically hitting hair loss of everything except for the kitchen sink because if you're losing hair you don't want to continue losing it until you find what works right and you're isolating things one at a time that takes time especially because the hair grows in cycles and you want to keep the hair in either the growth or the resting phase not the phase where it's falling out or not growing right and there was this guy that went viral on TikTok. he was like microneedling his scalp and doing everything and dr shreen idris who's a board certified dermatologist was literally like for hair loss do everything and then start removing things instead of doing it the way we normally would, which is you start with one thing to see the change because you want to stop the hair loss first by just doing everything to it and then taking things off one at a time to actually see what created that result. This is also the little V green essence. Again, I haven't used an essence in so long um, and it just feels so nice to, to be able to press this onto my skin. Well, I was keeping up with my hair loss regimen. I was doing my skincare routine and then just the fan. Um, and again, if you are someone who grew up being a people pleaser, or if you are someone who grew up with emotionally immature parents who tried their best, but maybe didn't provide everything that was needed for you, or if you have, you know, a weird attachment style, speak to a psychologist and a psychiatrist about your childhood and what medications you should be taking, or speak to a therapist if you want to talk about how you can improve your life and the way you operate through it. You know, the relationships that we have with everyone, coworkers, colleagues, friends, family, romantic, non-romantic, and otherwise, it's like, 
These impact me really deeply. And for some people, they are more sensitive and more likely to fawn or like, you know, not find safe spaces and try to fix situations than others. And sometimes it's to our own detriment. And there's like one major thing that happened, but then like five things hit the fan. Problem one, which is kind of the core of everything. And then problem two, three, four, five. There's like six problems and they're all really major life altering things for me. And I felt depressed before, I felt crushed before, I felt anxiety before, but it's different to be so self-aware about certain things through therapy, to understand what's happening and then to still be feeling it. And again, I feel things real deep and that just hurts so much. And I think that there's a constant fear of, or just a constant feeling of not being safe. And based on things that have happened to me in my past, that's really difficult for me to reconcile. And then when all of that gets brought up into the present, it um, is unbearable. So I was keeping up with my hair loss. I was isolating my variables and then hit the fan and I stopped using my skincare. I started going to bed, rolling around in bed for 10 hours a day, only sleeping for one hour. And it fucked up my skin and my hair and my mental health. And I'm still struggling, but I am literally trying my best every day. And it is like the hardest that I've had to work on things. And I'm not afraid of hard work, honey. I am not afraid of hard work, but this is emotionally taxing and exhausting. Um, but we're holding it together today. We're so good. We're so good. Obviously, if I'm not doing anything other than laying in bed for 10 hours and crying and using makeup wipes. Um, not really doing my hair care stuff either. And I was trying to use like some eye patches, uh, especially in the morning. I'll use like an eye patch to deal with my crying and I have to be very <laughs> honest and transparent. I still cry like every morning and every night just because I can't help it. You know, it is worse when I'm alone and it's because I'm allowing my thoughts to get to me. And so what did I try to do? Try to distract myself. <laughs> um, I try to distract myself with people. I try to distract myself with work and that works very well but I realized that I was kind of running from myself I was trying to travel and like literally and figuratively run away from everything happening in my head but when it's in your head you can't escape it I ended up in Mexico okay I was in Mexico <laughs> I went to New York for Forbes and I know this sounds very erratic like this was planned and this is literally me just trying to escape my head I'm not making rash decisions I'm just I'm trying my best and because I had good intentions I was like okay throw my routine with me so like I would bring my ordinary barrier support serum to LA I brought my eye restore helmet to New York and like, look at how scuffed up it has gotten. I was just throwing it in my suitcase. But the problem is that like, it's so difficult to travel with this that I haven't been able to be as consistent as I wanted to. And lo and behold, guess what happens when you're stressed? when you're crushed and devastated, when you feel like the world is collapsing right around you, uh, and when you're not using your skincare and hair for products, like guess what happens? Oh, your hair falls out. Literally since like June, July, I have been able to, and have been like pulling my hair out in clumps. And when it, <laughs> there you go, like there, there's some more. Like look at the bottom of my sink. I can just rake my fingers through my hair and it just comes out. And um, that adds to the stress, right? It is absolutely devastating. A hair loss happens for many reasons. My hair loss has kind of had that Christmas tree shape. You know, we've been looking at different things to try to help it from my vitamin D levels and my iron levels, which are just fine. And all of these other things, but the stress on top of stopping using this, hair is coming out in clumps. And again, this is why isolating variables matters. Is it the stress that I'm under that's causing my hair to come out in clumps? Or is it because I stopped using this that my hair comes out in clumps? Clumps. We know scientifically that stress can cause major hair loss and hair fall. So it appears that that's what it is, but do we know for sure? No, and <laughs> that's part of what makes it so difficult. So I, I believe that it's due to the stress and then me stopping my hair helmet or my hair serums just doesn't help. And then while traveling, you know, you can imagine, you know, cast cast, trying to go to these things, trying to show up, trying to put a smile on her face, sometimes managing, and then going home to a hotel or an Airbnb or a friend's house and just being crushed and devastated. Mm, we're holding it together. We're not picking at that pimple, Cassandra. No, we are not. Okay, I also reach for my pimples and I pick them. Um, you know, when I'm very stressed and I don't even realize it. But um, I believe it's due to this stressful event that my hair is coming out in clumps, but it, it could be otherwise. 
And I have to say, when I look back at my hair, I'm so happy that I have had all of these videos posted about it. Because when you look at my hair loss from previous videos, you can kind of see how when I started isolating variables and using this helmet that Dr. Dre originally recommended to me, I love her. If you're not watching her, go follow her. It's because of her that I got this. And I, you know, can kind of see how my hair was improving. Right now, this is what my hair is looking like. I still have a little bit like right here. I'm going gray because of this, which is just great. I like have gray hairs, love it. And I don't know, like there's still a little bit of looseness here. Again, my hair just doesn't feel as thick or as full, but I'm really glad that I have those other images and pictures so I can kind of compare what's been happening. And as I'm restarting using this, you're supposed to use it every other day, basically. But it takes time to see results. You're not gonna see results overnight, right? This is something that takes three to six months. And um, I've been using it for years, but you know, except for the past couple months. And I'm just trying my hardest to get back into it. Even my retinoids, oh my God. I just put on the V Green Nature Mucin Serum, the Ordinary Serum, and this Dermatica Retinoid. I hadn't used a retinoid in so long, and then my face is like starting to peel again because I'm going through retinization. I'm just like and then here comes the guilt of, I know I shouldn't do this because I know what's happening. Like you can see it. You're so aware, you know what's happening. Like when you try that new product and you know it's gonna up your skin, but you do it anyways. And they're just like, I knew I should have done this. Why did I do this? And then like, you're just watching it happen from an outsider's perspective a little bit. So retinization is something that I'm also going through with like the dry patches. And it's like, I know how to properly start a retinoid in my routine. And yet this is still happening. <laughs> what we are going to do is a little bit of this, which I haven't done in ages. It's non-needle microneedling. Does it actually compare to microneedling? I don't know, but we're trying it out. As it's been hard to travel with the Iberstore helmet and hard to keep up with these things, and as my hair has been falling out, I have just been in therapy. Again, I'm very grateful that I have resources and medical insurance that I also provide for my team members, and now I have better help. It is also difficult. I think that's also an additional stress of like being a caretaker or a provider for others or knowing or feeling responsible for others. That's really big for me. And then I have to remind myself that I'm not responsible for someone else's happiness. If someone else is unhappy or happy, I can't control that. I can't make them happy or unhappy. Happy. I can contribute to it, but I can't control it. And that's really difficult for me because I want to be around amazing, wonderful, happy people. I want to help them light up and feel good. And um, coming to that realization that that's in their hands is difficult for me because even if I know it, I will try to change it. That's just like those extra little things or like work stress, right? Or like friends stress or family stress. Like those are just like the extra little things on top of it all. Yeah, lots of, lots of therapy. And as I've surrounded myself with friends or activities, I've literally been trying to distract myself. I realized I can't run away from what's inside my head as much as I want to. I have been trying to just be okay with my thoughts and my emotions and my feelings, but it's like, I'm trying to escape like what's in here because the organ between my ears tells me very 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 nasty hurtful things you know you sometimes you just kind of feel like you feel stuck in the mud like at the end of a road you know it's not that you don't see a way out it's just that you don't even have the energy to try and i also feel stingy because this is literally claiming to be non-needle microneedling but it's kind of like energy that's shot into the skin and the fact that i'm even trying to get excited about skincare or these other things is a huge huge bonus this is from mixoon it's the vegan melting balm they're like the ordinary of korea I love this. As I'm at home, I have found myself relying on things like face masks or sun patches. During the day, I've been testing these out. <laughs> They're so scary. These are sun patches that are supposed to be SPF like face masks for your face. And I literally just walk around the house with one or two products on my face and I'm like, I'm doing skincare, I'm doing good. This as well is something that I can do around the house. There are other hair loss treatments like this. I love this so much. It's a scalp massager that I got off of Amazon and it's waterproof so you can use it in the shower. I love this. And we do know that scalp massage can increase circulation and blood flow, but like, it's hard for me to do this while walking around the house. This I'm able to actually do while I'm like doing laundry or cooking food. And um, again, wasn't able to do that for quite some time. I do think that I might need to get one that's not as scuffed up or that holds battery a little bit more. I have dropped this in water, which I'm sure does not help. It's been a fun time, but this is something that I can literally wear while I'm doing my skincare routine, while I'm in therapy if my therapist doesn't judge me. And I feel like my therapist doesn't judge me, but I will say my psychologist has given me some pieces of advice or not even advice, but like some thoughts, right? I've been questioning them. I'm like, is that really a good idea? Uh, and I've tried a couple things like, you know, tools in your toolbox. And then I'm like, hmm, I don't know how this is. I don't know how this is. And I almost need to tell her and I do want to tell her that like, I don't know if I agree with this. And I know she'll be fine with because that's her job and she'll probably be proud that I'm coming to her. 
having my own opinion and my own concern. But again, whether it's childhood stuff or teenage stuff or whatever, I'm just like, I'm afraid to disagree with her. Does that make sense? Like I'm afraid she's gonna be mad at me that it didn't work for me. When it's like, I'm literally, and my medical insurance is paying for her time to try to get help and get better and see myself differently. Why am I afraid that she's gonna tell me that I did it wrong because the tool that she provided to me didn't work? That's not my fault. That's not, well, it is, well, let's not blame each other. Like, do you see, do you see how like everything in me has become so sensitive, so heightened, so like on alert. And like, it's this fear of, it's this fear of many things. <gasps> but it's a lot. We are gonna use the zip. I did a live stream with the founder who is such an amazing sweetheart. She has some very interesting ideas around like physics, but she is such a sweetheart and has created such amazing devices. And I recently upgraded this and she gave me a moment of peace at a time that I needed it most. This is actually the acne little one that she recommends. This is the least expensive electric complex from them. Some of their electric complexes are um, you know, like $100 for the silver or the gold. This one is less expensive. And again, like she really gave me consolation at a time that I needed it. So we're just gonna do a little bit of drainage here. I'm gonna go up and then I'm gonna go down. And she actually taught me how to do it around the eyes for my puffiness. But like this, I can't do when I'm like walking around the house. I did get a Charlotte Tilbury face mask that I froze in the freezer. <laughs> and that is one that I have used around the house. It looks terrifying though. That is for depuffing the face. And I'll need to give you a full review on how that works. But I use this. I also like that this goes down in the back. This was something that, again, Dr. Dre was the one who got me onto this, but Dr. Shereen Idris also uses this. Um, Dr. Yoon, he's a plastic surgeon who also helps with hair loss. He also uses this. And I love that it has the LEDs and the lasers all the way to the back. A lot of the other ones are more like a helmet, like a, like a baseball cap, and they don't actually go down to the back. And I've actually noticed hair at my crown falling out. Again, this is also LED and laser. I should be putting an LED face mask back in my routine. I haven't done like an LED face mask in quite a while either. I have tried this. This is a Dr. Dennis Gross lip mask. I'm gonna give you a full review on what the this is and if it works because um I've been using it but I haven't been using a face LED because I've been trying to just depuff my face with face masks and the Charlotte Tilbury ice creepsicle that's it's literally an ice creepsicle thing that's what the Charlotte Tilbury is oh I think this is out of batteries look at me like running out of batteries on everything like that just shows you like that's, that's where I've been this is LED like red LED which can boost collagen and help with inflammation but literally it's red LED that this helmet has as well as low-level laser therapy and remember that lasers and light and LED and infrared, these are all on the electromagnetic spectrum, but lasers are targeted and pointed like a very, you know, streamlined wavelength, whereas LED is a range. And what's great about this is that there's, I think 280, is it 282, 288, 284, whatever is Dr. Dre talks about it. And that's why I'm like, okay, if you, if it worked for her, her hair has made it such a beautiful transformation. I'm like, can I have that? And I think that she and the brand say that it has like 280 diodes or something, which other brands don't, but it's both low level laser and LED. This you can leave on the skin as well from Zip. So I'm just gonna leave that on. It kind of is a little bit tacky, but for nighttime use, that's totally fine for me. I have the sulfur mask. I have this giant pimple right here, but I should have done this a little bit beforehand if I wanted to spot treat. And then this is relatively new from Ula Henriksen, the Dutopia Flash Facial. My face has been a little crusty. I could probably use some exfoliation, but didn't try this today. I'll have to try this another time after I patch test. But that, at least I'm like getting invigorated by things because there was a period of time that I just, I couldn't feel anything except for pain. Like soul crushing, devastating, rip every organ out of your body while you are still conscious and breathing pain. And as I've been trying to get back into my skincare and my hair care, you know, I am taking my supplements. I am using my hair restore helmet again, even though it is damaged. I did drop it in water. I do need to do things a little better. I'm also just throwing everything but the kitchen sink at my hair. So like this was handed to me at an event. This is supposed to help you anchor your hair to your scalp. Again, the hair is in one of three or technically four phases, but it's either growing, it's resting, or it's falling out, you know? And if you can keep the hair growing more or staying on your scalp longer before it falls out, that's great. Or if you can have more hairs coming out of each follicle, that's what we need. And I went to Korea um, and while I was there, I actually went to a hair loss clinic and they looked at my hair under a microscope. I'm trying to do a full video on that because they provided Korean hair care, like a customized regimen for me. 
and I've been trying to keep up with it, but then, you know, everything went to shit in my life and I stopped. I actually want, and I'm going to work on a video sharing with you what I learned there and specifically about my personal specific case of hair loss. And um, he was like, wow, you've probably lost 30% of your hair. So big yikes. <laughs> Trying to definitely get that back. But instead of doing things one at a time, like I was previously, rosemary oil, you know, hair serums, you know, scalp massagers, eye restore helmets, and then slowly, you know, start taking things away. And this has absolutely made a difference for me. I feel like my hair has, I just, when I look at these photos, my hair has been thicker. It has been healthier. It has been happier. And then when I stopped using it, yes, I also got stressed, but like the stress really can cause your hair to fall out and it just brought it to so this is absolutely staying in my routine. I think I might try to get a new helmet and I have seen them on sale on Amazon, like 150 off. They have sales on their website where it's $450 off. Please keep that in mind. They also have, um, I don't know the terms of the details, but it's money back. There's many dermatologists and doctors that have talked about it. And I think that's only available through their website. iRestore has coupon codes and they have actually provided that as well as a giveaway that I recently did on Instagram. Please go check that out if you'd like to, because I love partnering with them, especially cause like I know these things are expensive and sometimes financial stress causes people's hair to fall out right like sometimes that's a really big issue and um if i can provide this for free or partner with them to bring that to you that's something that i'm very excited about this is dr sam's flawless moisturizer she gave this to me her entire line is cruelty free so i have put this on my face i don't even know the ingredients but she's like this will help your skin are we gonna do a face mask why not this is the pillowgasm cherry glow sleeping mask from wishful skin i love this so much i have the urge to eat it but i I will not but it basically goes on like a crazy crazy face mask look at that it literally gets like white and foamy and then you just pat it in and sleep with it on overnight and i wake up so glowy and beautiful so this is what we're doing and again it's technically fragrance free it has all these ingredients that just make it smell so good for my hair treating my hair is kind of like treating what's happening in my head i have to stop um well do i have to stop trying to distract myself <laughs> do i have to deal with it because dealing with it is really hard and like everyone says that like things will pass and it'll get better maybe it'll get better but like I have so many people telling me that like oh you'll, you're strong you'll get over it and like the exhaustion of trying to wake up and be strong and remain strong and like the prospect of maybe I won't maybe this is like a new normal maybe this is something that it never goes away I just learned to live with it that's it's it's rough as long as I'm taking care of myself I'm okay with distracting myself for the time being so I'm gonna continue taking care of myself and my hair for the time being I am going to do my best to take care of others in the ways that I can for example, the hair restore helmets, giveaways, building skincare routines for my subscribers and not being a recluse and, you know, subtracting myself from the world because I don't feel good enough to be in it. Mm, that's what we're going to do. And you see how I pat that in so nicely? Look at this. This is the most full routine I've done in literally months and it feels really 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 good i'm gonna get going to bed i go to bed early and then i toss and turn all night but i am trying my best i'm also trying to get like a humidifier maybe that'll help me sleep i'm trying a bunch of things i'm trying to get new pillows <laughs> and again the fact that i even have the energy to do that is huge so thank you for your support and your understanding and um accepting that i'm a mess sometimes and i have flaws and i'm human and it sucks but i am doing my best even if it's really hard and that also means that i'm trying to take care of myself be transparent with you throughout the way and i know a lot of people you know as the acne big sister i want to be there for you i want to give you advice i want to console you in the times that you need but if there's a time that i can't even console myself um i don't know how well i can do that for others and i just thank you for your compassion we are taking care of ourselves one step at a time even if that means nasty makeup wipes for a time being even if i never fully deal with it we're gonna find a new normal and a way to make it work I love you. Um, feel free to go watch some of those old hair loss videos if you wanna see how things have happened throughout the years. If you're not already subscribed and you want to, you'll be able to see what's new in the hair loss world as I give you these updates, which I hope to continue to do. And there's discounts. If you want the discounts for this, $450 off. I'm so grateful that they've worked with us to provide that. And again, I'm trying to ship out products to people it's been a long time that I've even been able to go to the post office. I hope nobody's waiting on me. That also brings up fear, guilt, and anxiety. I will find ways to process this and deal with it and take care of all of the things. Not all of the things. I will find ways to manage the things. Rely on others. Woo, that's hard to ask for help, but rely on others to help me take care of all the things. That's what I'm going to do, okay? I love you guys, and I can't wait to see you here, here, and in this next video. Love you guys.